In this episode we will go and visit places where saints from centuries ago have lived and in that journey we will have some very surprising encounters. After our visit to Kurki to get something from nearby, I thought to rest a little bit in Pushkar, but on that day there was a marriage going on and it was really loud right in front of our door. <laughs> The next day, the first thing which was in our plan was to have darshan of Brahmaji. So this temple apparently, there was the demon in the Padma Purana, it just said there was the demon Rajna Baba or something like that. And he was trying to kill his children and harass people. So Brahma came immediately to slay him with his lotus, with his Padma. And when he hit him, three petals of the lotus fell on the floor. Three petals of the lotus fell on the floor, on the earth, and that are the three lakes which are around here. After that he wanted to make a yagna. Yeah, there was a part of the ceremony where his wife is needed, which was Saraswati, also sometimes Savitri, and as she was not around in that moment, Brahma married another girl which was Gayatri Devi and finally when Savitri came then she saw that on her place there was sitting another lady and that created obviously anger in her and she cursed Brahma that he will not be worshipped anywhere besides in Pushkar in that place. So this is one side of the story there's many more legends, like the one where Brahma and Vishnu uh, saw the pillar of light for Shiva to try to see the, find the origin and the end. Brahma was lying and got cursed there. Another legend where the sage Prigu went to see who's the most worshipable. So there's many legends, many stories, but this is the latest one I found. So. Take whichever one you like. So you get it. I think Jatila has made a new friend. Best friends forever. This name Pushka. Push did the flower, hmm. cut this Brahma hand. Hmm. Name Pushka. Where are you from? Italy. Ciao. Ciao, Bello. <laughs> After Darshan of Brahma, we went to the lake. And on the market we encountered the best Rajasthani fashion ever. So now we had Darshan of Brahmaji and a small dip in the Pushkar Sarova. And now we are going to see if we can find some saints with the blessings of Brahma. For our Italian Watchers, they made here pizza oven out of mud. Tower in Ajmer. I thought we were in Paris. There's also a leaning tower of Pisa. Oh, <laughs> the leaning tower of Pisa <laughs> and the Colosseum. <laughs> what happened here?
So we just arrived at the temple or ashram of Dadu Dayal Ji Maharaj, something like that. Yeah. Ready to go to the ashram? Just setting up my camera set. This is the tree under which Dadu Dayal did his sadhana. You can see in the temple the Vani, which is his teachings, his writings. That's the only thing they worship. Similar like the Sikh have the Guru Granth Sahib. There's no Samadhi of him here because he went with his disciples to the mountain and stood there on top of the mountain and said, leave me there. And when they walked down and looked back, they saw him ascending to the heavens. We made some connection, asked for belonging, showed them the project and they said they will come back to us. So people have said that they have many different things from Dada Dayal. The main thing is the Bani, which is his scripture, what he wrote, because he gave many things to people, but the people didn't really care. And so he left his teachings. And there's other things which we get maybe something in a few days. So they have to ask permission from the Maharaj, which is in charge here. And then we see if we get something. Now we go to one of his disciples' places. His name is Sundar Das. Sundar Das. It's about one and a half hours from here. Uh, Jatila can easily make that one hour. <laughs> Sundar Das was born a little bit after in 1590 something, 92 I think, and he became a disciple of Dadu Dayal and became a great saint. And they are all very much Guru Bhaktas. He traveled around Rajasthan and Punjab to preach about the teachings of his Guru, to preach about the Dadu Pant, his sect, and said basically that the only way to attain salvation is by following uh, the Guru. He made a few other statements of how we can grow spiritually. I will read them to you. So, number one is worship your Guru and serve him faithfully. By doing that, you will attain all kinds of prosperity in your life. So, Guru Seva. Second one, develop the habit of reading spiritual books and listening to spiritual discourses that will give you suitable spiritual energy. Very similar, Guruji says the same thing. Listen to satsang. Read the Bhagavad Gita. Make every effort to attain the glory of God by doing good things to others and by doing meditation. So make God the highest goal, help other people and do your sadhana. Show kindness, courtesy, sympathy, love and affection to others. Don't hate others. Don't differentiate between the rich and the poor. Your mind will be very peaceful. Okay? No differentiation, equal mindedness. Never allow bad habits to enter in your path. Always be honest and be gentle with others. Oh, that's a good one. Never let bad habits enter your path. How we get habits? By continuous practice. If you repeat something, a habit is created. So you shouldn't uh, harbor bad habits, but practice good habits. And number six, don't worry about death anyway. In course of time, it will occur. We cannot escape from that. Utilize this life properly and spend your life in a peaceful manner. We will all die not something we can avoid. 
And number seven, the last one, always keep your mind and body pure and clean. Jay Sundar Das Maharaj Ki. I think on Jaminari This is Sundar Das Maharaj's Samadhi. At the Samadhi place of Sundar Das, the people were taking us to the Gaushala to speak with one of the sadhus, uh, the one who took care of the Gaushala. And after having understood our project, they insisted that we will meet their guru. We just made some new friends and we will go now to their guru. So these are our buddies. They want to go there. We also. How many years ago did you here? 800 years ago. Very good day. No one No one Three greens. We showed and explained him also the project. After having received something from his tradition, he insisted that we attend the Kirtan. So we brought our Medanga. When they heard the sound of the Medanga, they got even more fired up to do some Kirtan. Then we finally left for Jaipur to find a place to stay overnight. Good morning. So we start from Jaipur, going towards east. The first ashram we're going to visit is from Tap Tapsi Baba. Yeah. Tapsi Baba. And we don't really know anything. Try to figure something out. It was just on a list of Bhakti Saints of Rajasthan. So why we're gonna look for it and yeah then we will visit other places in that area and tonight we'll come back to Jaipur. So this ashram is actually the same as the ashram we have been yesterday or at least it belongs to the same Maharaj where we visited yesterday and there was nothing to pick up but we got some information about some places around here and what is also very nice here they do since two years Kanda Ramayan so they, they read the Ramayan since two years non-stop it's a really nice atmosphere and now we go to the next place ready Jatika? let's go, let's go Shake on the go from Herbalife sponsored by a devotee from Portugal that we have some nourishment on the road with some Mexican cacao like pure Mexican cocoa powder amazing mm. 
on the road we suddenly saw a sign of some ashram. Benagi Sant Ashram. Off road we go. There was indeed beautiful ashram. This is how it should be. Just seeing a sign on the road, then driving out into the wilderness and suddenly being at an ashram. Let's see what we find here. We introduced ourselves, showed him the project. After the ice was broken, he offered us some chai and some prasad. And we started to discuss. Bring the, the, the road to that, to that home, to that place, only the Guru can tell you where it is. Mm -hmm. Nobody else in the world can tell you. <laughs> Wherever it is, in the jungle, on the roof, it has to be, the mind has to be silent. We sit even just for one hour. And we feel Ananda. You have a human body, you have to eat, you have to wear clothes. But if you want to transcend that, you have to take care of the body also. When you reach that state. There's a different kind of bliss that you experience. There's nothing else then that's important to you. When people come go, when it's dirty, when the people come and go, the sun is always in bliss. <laughs> I think the saints, that's why they're in the forest. They don't want to be amongst people because they just... They don't need that. Yeah. You think people people are selfish, they come and they come and disturb the body. But isn't it the goal to get at the point that you can't be disturbed anymore? This was a really beautiful experience in this ashram which we just discovered. In the beginning he was a bit more reserved, but step by step he opened up and saw that we have genuine intentions and yeah, in the end it was really uh, open heart and just giving and right now in the end he basically said come whenever you can, uh, 24 hours, always welcome here. So Guruji made it again possible to find some amazing place and now we're going to carry on to our actual destination of Lal Babu Ashram.
not the most pleasant image, but sadly, it is a reality. Welcome to Sariska Tiger Reserve. As we're driving for a few hours, I used the time to edit a little bit the videos. Very much fun in this roads. Hey, Baba. So we have reached now Lal Ashram. Uh, Lal Ashram was it? Lal Das Babu Ashram. Lal Das Babu Ashram. And now we will walk in and see if there is anything which we can get for the museum. Wish us luck! As these saints have lived quite some time ago, it is sometimes very difficult that something was kept properly. We got a charter from the Samadhi. We drove all the way back to Jaipur again and now Jatila wanted to give me a proper experience of a Rajasthani Thali. The day is finished, but the work is not yet finished, so I'm still making the cards and the descriptions so that they're all nicely ordered in the museum. So whatever we acquired till now was nicely labeled and tagged. 